Yep, yeah, you can probably tell this is not going to be a car boot video today. He's been pissing it down all night. I don't know if toxie has been called off or what, but we're not going to risk going up there just in case. Get these out of the way. We can put them somewhere. So now we can go there. We've had four sales so far today. It's been a, been a shit morning to be fair. No car boot and we've had hardly any sales. But we'll show you what we've sold anyway. Um, first up. I thought this was one of them ones that were worth a lot of money. Couldn't find it anywhere. Scary as well. Put it on bids. Remember I paid two pounds for this. <sighs> Sold for a fiver on bids. So it's, a, it's probably about a quid profit. And then fucking about shipping that. So Tyler actually used the bag to put it in. Probably broke even. So don't ever pick that up, bag of shit. Um, what's another sale ah, over here? We paid £10 for loads of Funkos the other day. And this fish here is sold for £9 plus the postage. So not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, oh, we've got a Woody that's sold, which will be... Oh, shit. Which will be... You can't even see it. So I'm going to do this. Look at that beautiful stuff. We've got a Woody what should be in here. Here's sold. Does it work? It does work, it just needs new batteries, I think. It's sold for it's anyone that's in there, so it's got a this one. It says Andy on its foot with LVs. It's sold for $14.99. Kill you dickhead. Sold for $14.99 plus the shipping. Easy little sale from Woody. And our last sale should be down here. All these clothes need to go on a whatnot stream soon. So probably going to be another whatnot tonight, maybe. We'll figure that out. Oh, it can't be tonight, I see, because I've got a little man and I. So it'll be tomorrow night, maybe. I think Brides of Dracula has sold, if it's the right one. And that went for $4.99 as well. So, I've literally got like four items in there I can list. I've got this bag of toys that I just need shocked. Uh, that Hello Kitty I paid a pound for, it turns out it's worth nothing. So if anyone, you know, wants to buy that, let me know. But I've only got them to list, which is not good because obviously we need to make sales, we need to list five a day, and we've got a fuck all to list. We can't restock today because of the weather, so we're going to have to restock somehow, and that way he's going to have to be looking around in charity shops. Hopefully somebody's in them today that will give me a bargain, or I'll find something on Facebook or something. We've got to figure this out. Gotta figure this out. Fingers crossed. We're gonna get a bundle today, a good bundle of stuff. That literally took like two seconds. Done. Let's go take them. Right, anyway, let's go hit these charity shops. Just popped up on my phone as I, as I turned the car on. 41 minutes to talk to car boot, so but we ain't fucking going. I know you know it because it's Wednesday, but we ain't going. That's the end of that. We're gonna go hit some charity shops. We're going to find nothing, we're going to be depressed the rest of the week until we hit Saturday car, which will probably be called off again. But come on, I'll take you with me. Let's go have a look at these chasms. Let's go have a fucking look at this shit, so... I don't think we can't pay the card in there, I'm sure I can't remember. Sitting in this Wilson's golf bag, tenner. You had them loads of them before, didn't I, but... Mm. Bit discoloured, isn't it? Yeah, is that all I thought? Body fat monitor with the box, 4 dollars 99 So that's six. What even are these? I thought it said Gore-Tex on them, but it said Aquatex on the tail. Don't know if any good. Fiver. Right, don't worry, I didn't pay £4 each. That one was up for four quid as well. It says two, but it's been drawn on the back page because I noticed it. They had them both out for four, and I was like, oh, I would have took it, but that. Realised these ain't worth that much. So she said, oh, do you want them both for six? I was like, oh, no, it's too much for me. Sorry, sweetheart. And she's like, do you want them both for five? And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to take them both for five because I reckon the Harry Potter Lego figure and the Han Solo Lego figure might be worth some peas. Probably not, and I've just lost out on five quid, but you've got to pick something up, haven't you, Kaj? Hopefully now I can go to the other ones and find some more. Well, 
this film in Mayhem Charity Shops and I've only picked up two things. There's one more to go. The reason I didn't film is there's loads of people in there, like it was awkward. But there's one more to go, we're definitely going to film in this one. I'm going to grab one of them pork buttons as well while I'm here. No point even filming, waste of time. Let's get a sandwich. So, just sat in the van, finished me turkey and stuffing sandwich. Absolutely banging. Only three quid for a meal deal or four quid, whatever it was. And I looked on Facebook Marketplace and somebody selling a huge bundle of shoes. I know I stay away from shoes. Huge bundle of shoes, right? 15 quid. So I've messaged them and said, yeah, if you can get them now, because I've got a lot of interest. So I'm going to literally run there. Well, say I'm going to drive there now and pick up these shoes. 15 quid for a full bag full of them. I think they are, some of them are small sizes, but I've seen a lot of, I've seen a pair of gazelles, a couple of pairs of footy boots in there, and that was just the top end of the bag. So I'll get up there, grab them, so much to pick up in it, 15 quid. Put them on a vintage five quid a pair, man. Do you know what I mean? You've got to sell like three pairs of them and you made your money back. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to pop down to Sue Rider. So I'll update you when we've got the bargains. And then on your last visit, do you remember? Whoa. Right, I've just pulled over because I just picked up the bargain. Bargain of the summer. Size five gazelles was in there. Uh, there's these phantom footy boots. Loads of different footy boots. Umbros, pair of these little black ones. Some of them are small sizes, but do you know what I mean? There's loads of these shoes in there. 15 quid's an absolute steal. Absolute steal. And obviously we picked up them two Lego books as well, which is a stupid idea, but I'm gonna head down to Ride now really quick. And then when we get home, I'll run through all the shoes and whatever. And, See how much they're worth. So yeah, Sue Ryder and Bernardo's. Hopefully they've got me some bargains in the back of the room. Be a bit cheeky today, but I need something. Right, so I didn't film in Sue because I went straight to an acid shadow. Got all these Thomas the Tank Engine people. Full tracks, loads of them in there. In this bag. And I got the IKEA bag as well for a tenner. Then I said, have you got anything else? And she said she had this brand new in the back. So I obviously looked it up, it's only 16 gig. And she said, will you have a look it up for me? So I looked it up and it sold for like 50, 60 quid. And she said, oh, do you want it? And I said, if I was to buy it, it'd be to keep it because I need one. I wanted to get an iPad for ages, but I could never get around to getting one. And she went, well, if it's sold to 60, 70, 30 quid, you can have it. I said, deal, it's still sealed inside, so I can play with it, do whatever. And if it doesn't do what I want it to do, I can sell it for 70 quid. Or well, them Tommy the Tank Engine stuff for a tenner. It's not Trackmaster, but they're all like brand new, full track for a tenner. I want to make some like money on that 100%. Even if I sell them. Uh, Thomas is separate. But we've got Bernardo's, so let's go in there, have a look. I think it was only in here yesterday, it wasn't right there before, but we might as well have a look. All the way down here and hit home bargain so we can get some boxes for them, what not ordered. Look at this scummy little teddy. Get it out. Looks like someone's been into that car. Fair play to you. What is that? It's his little play set thing. Five with some humor bad boys. Weird that. Right? It's really way 15 could have stole that. Route 66. Brand new with the tax with £2.50. That's supreme. You know, a clue. I'm just gonna grab this £2.50. I'm gonna pick up t shirts of clothing, but I'm gonna aim for this one. Bargain. No antenna for these, but on the inside, look at that. Sophie used to wear them, apparently. There's some caramels here, though. How much caramel running? Seven quid. Yeah. See, you should have brand new with a tag for £2.50. You can't. Just like that. All day, every day. Great bargain, buddy. Fuck me. Jesus. You know the drill. Home bargain sorted me out. Also just realised my van doesn't lock and I've left the tablet in the bag in the front seat. So someone at the range has walked past and left in a free tablet to try the door. Well, if you know me, I've got some more like little bags that I use. I also bought a prime. So I never tried the green one, the rest of them I just kept them to collect them. And this just looks banging, so I'm gonna try that as well. But why have I got a van? And everything stacked in the front, I don't know. I can't even see my wind mirror. Someone's just pulled up next to me. Bargain. I haven't tried it yet. But it stinks like medicine, like some sort of medicine. Fuck's sake. 
that tastes like shit, absolute shite. No, never again. Right, back home then. Well, let's go back home and run through what we picked up today and then get them whatnot orders wrapped and sent out. Right, it's a bit later on, we're back home with the champion. He's happy as Larry because Toy Story is on. But let's talk what we picked up. A Galaxy 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi Tab A6. Did you can hear that in the background? That's right, it is me. Look how buzzing this is. Oh, fuck off, mate. Clear as you go. Look at that. It's huge compared to my hand. Do you know what I mean? Massive. I'm keeping that. So that cost me 30 quid. And to be fair, keeping it all day, every day. We then picked up two Lego books with the Lego figures in them. Apparently at retail, they were 14 99 uh, I paid five for both. One of them is like new. I think it's the Star Wars one, so I could sell that as new. Give or take, or used. I'm gonna take that sticker off. But then the, this one, someone's written all over it. So, don't know if we just take the Lego figure out or what, I don't know. I'm gonna scan this up now and see what it's worth. Well, apparently one of these sold as new for 29.99, which is bullshit. So, I'm gonna give a listing value of 10 or each. At the low end, I'll take the figures out, I don't know. Don't know what to do. Let me know in the comments what I should do with them. So a couple of things in that bag of shoes that I know good are just a couple of pairs of socks. They should be in one so they can go in a bin. Some peacock shoes. I thought they were vans, but they're not. Who cares anyway? Seats from earlier. And then one umbro thing. So basically, the person, what I think they've done is the person who had this bag of shoes and I show you when I get inside. £15 was a massive bargain. Buzzing with it. Absolutely happy as Larry. I'm just going to sell them five quid a pair of shoes. But this is what we've got so far. We've obviously got some, some Deco shin pads. They're just the ones that you slide in, I think. A pair of Nike. Maybe this is all for 15 quid. A pair of Nike shoes. A little Nike pair. Another Nike pair. I think they'll have to go in the bin because they've been sliced. We don't worry about that. Umbro. They're proper, but they're, they're a bit battered, aren't they? So... I could take the laces out of both of these and use them for something else. A pair of some decos. Yeah. We'll have them. Another pair of Adidas. Oh, small sizes, but it's money, isn't it? Five pound a pair and vintage all day. Adidas, Umbro. Them gazelles might get like 10, 15 quid for. Once I clean them up. Another pair of Nikes. A pair of Pumas. Oh, two pairs of Pumas. Yeah, they look all right. So for 15 quid, we've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about 10 pairs of shoes. And obviously, spares my pairs. So like I said, took the laces out of them, save them, I'll put them in a little box for all the other ones I've got. Bang in, and then we move on to this bundle here. Uh, excuse me. Right, so this toy, Tommy, what the fuck am I on about? This, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, I was going to say Tom and Jerry. Thomas the Tank Engine thing, bundle for a tenner, just gets better and better and better and better. And I'll show you why. So obviously he's buzzing for it. He's got his little Thomas. But when you actually look on it, it says VTEC here. And then there's loads of these VTEC cars with metal people. Now I've got a full set of these metal people. There's more cars in there, more people, more track. To a part to the door. So these Thomas things, these, ain't even part of that. These are just extra. That on its own is going to be some big money. So we've got these Fisher Price things here. Come see what they are. Some weird thing. So they're just going to go a bag, in a bag for just a random bundle of crap. Got all these Thomas little trains. All immaculate as well. There's no damage to any of them. Even a little play and do. So I don't know how much they're going to be as a bundle. We get like 30 quid for all of them. Uh, obviously, this I thought was part of that. It's not. So this and all the track is Thomas. Just say Thomas on that one, doesn't it? Yeah, if you can see it says Thomas there, look. They're all coming, so it builds with this. So that and all them cars is a bundle. Mad money. But VTEC stuff. These ain't got any batch them, I don't think, because none of it's working. But if this any of this works, the cars are worth 10 quid on their own. Bear in mind, I paid 10 quid for all of this. Absolute steal. If not, you can play with it. So happy, say happy days. Get up.
Yeah. Right, update. I ain't put in batteries, that's what I'm gonna do now though. But one of these sold with no animals or cars, just a station for 15 quid. With the cars and no animals, 25 quid. Complete like this with this extra part as well. And that, if it all works, this could be 30 to 40 quid. That's without selling the Thomas Tank Engine stuff. So let's get it all battery tested. And, oh shit. And hopefully this all works. It looks like it does, it looks immaculate, but we've seen worse, haven't we guys, on this channel. Moment of truth. Jam, jam. Now he's for this set. All downhill from here, boys. Fuck. Did it, I'm the man, yes I am. I've said this before, I can fix out. Just literally scrape the battery effort out and tighten the nut really tight. Yeah. Yo ho, spaghetti, oh fuck. I'll fix it. Been out here for like an hour. Battery is scraped it. The, the damage is too bad in that battery sack, so it doesn't work. Might still sell if it doesn't work. Probably not, because it's all to do with talking, singing, dancing. But it is what it is. Those other bits will still fly. Still make good money on it. Happy days. And then I forgot to mention the last pickup was this Harley Davidson t shirt, size medium, with the tag still. I don't know if you can see it properly. Let me lay it down. Yeah, really nice clean condition. It's supposed to be car boot today, like we say, but we've done all right since we can't go to the car boot. But it's 15 minutes till the game starts, so I'm going to get this video uploaded. So make sure you leave a like, guys, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.